I'm coming to America. Hi there. Welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, my name is Sarah, Sarah Sienna, and I love traveling. I mean, let's be honest, who doesn't? It makes you feel like Nigel Thornbury and Tyra Banks all in one. One slightly cool, edgy thing that I really want everyone to know about me is that I love traveling on my own. My first real experience of this was super recently, actually, back in 2016 when I went on elective. As much as I loved the time spent with my friends, there was something crazy, liberating and exhilarating about the last four weeks that I did alone. I fell in love with learning about new cultures, meeting new people. I fell in love with the thrill and the fear of it. But that's another story for a whole other day and you can actually read more about why I love traveling alone over on my blog post that's literally called Why I Travel Alone. Anyway, a little while ago I somehow managed to get three weeks of leave from work. I know, right? It's impossible. But I moved around all my own calls. I worked some crazy jam-packed hours in order to make this happen. I figured I'm young, single and currently childless, so what better time to jet set around the West Coast? And this is where my story starts. London Heathrow Airport, 24th October, 2017. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. I'm going to LA and I'm gonna vlog the whole thing for you guys and it's gonna be super fun. Um, I'm currently at the airport making people look at me really weird. I've checked in my baggage and I'm about to go through security. Got my little hand luggage here. Essentially, I've got three weeks off work. I keep saying LA just because that's the airport that I'm landing at. But I'm basically just traveling around the West Coast, gonna try to see the Grand Canyon, Yosemite, even though I call it Yosemite. <laughs> like, literally, why is it Yosemite? It looks like a Yosemite. Should be Yosemite. Go to Yosemite. <laughs> Well, that's the plan anyway. I'm gonna kind of see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna go to like all the cool fitness spots in LA, so like Venice Beach, Muscle Beach, um, Gold's Gym, and I just kind of want to live my best life out there. This is my first time in the US, by the way. I'm coming to America. Say hi. Say hi, Vini. Although they won't actually be able to hear you, I've just realized. Um, but yeah, I've just stopped to get some breakfast. There's my coffee. There's Vini in a bay. And there's my pancakes. Um, I thought I'd get some breakfast and just do some like editing and stuff. Look how cute you are. This is actually, this is actually a really cute day. It was a long flight sandwiched between two smooth customers. You can, of course, read more about my journey and very interesting customs experience on my blog. Hashtag, please read my blog. Back to the video. Okay, so I just arrived. I've got out of the airport and it is hot. I don't know why. I don't know why I didn't anticipate that it would be this hot. I think it's like 36 degrees and I'm like all in black, sweating. <laughs> it's kind of humid. Not as bad as Thailand or Sri Lanka, but get in there. Definitely not UK weather. So I honestly do not know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try and get a taxi to my place. It is like 1 a.m. in the UK, but it is 5 p.m. in, in America. Um, so I'm pretty tired, like that flight was so long. It was so long. I just I just want to get to my hostel, pretty much. Now to just figure out how to do that. I figured that when you don't know where to start, the best place to start is with coffee. So I just got a pumpkin spice wrap from the coffee blend. And it tastes pretty good. Not bad, USA, not bad. The taxi wait is ridiculous. At this point, I literally had no plans. All I had booked was a return flight to and from LA with two days of accommodation upon landing. When I first arrived in Venice, I loved it. The beaches were so beautiful and the weather was perfect. I made new friends, I tried new foods, I visited Muscle Beach and the iconic Gold's Gym. I had some pretty amazing experiences. I had some pretty scary ones too, and you can read more about that on my diary entry called Me Too. I kind of got stuck after that. I wasn't really going out anywhere, I wasn't really enjoying it, I had no plans and no desire to make any. That was until I met Nicola, a cute little Australian girl who was staying at the same hostel. She invited me to come to Vegas with her and an American guy who was also at the hostel. 
I wasn't too fussed on seeing Vegas, to be honest, but it was one of those places on my to-see list, and for reasons explained on the blog, I was pretty keen to get as far away from that hostel as possible. So, in a flash decision, I packed my bags and off I went. Unfortunately, on the second day in Vegas, I lost my phone, Ugh, meaning all the vlogs from my time in Venice were lost, I'm so sorry, but we'll gloss over that bit and pick up in Vegas with my two new travel buddies. Say hi! Hi! <laughs> hi! Introduce yourself! Justin! Nicola! <laughs> Welcome to the vlog. Um, so we basically, this is really spontaneous actually. I was not planning on coming to Vegas today, but Nicola was like, I'm going to Vegas. And so I canceled my reservation and here we are. Champ drove us all down. We've got like a nice hotel room as well. It's pretty decent. Sorry, our stuff is like everywhere. Um, very expensive, but pretty decent. And we're just gonna go do Halloween in Vegas. Woo! Woo! Vegas baby. <laughs> Enjoy the vlog. Bye. You know, I just like, is that ranch? Mm -hmm. Wait, that's what, I've never had ranch in my life before. Try it. Are you kidding me? What is ranch? Ranch is ranch, I don't know. It's delicious, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, wait, can I double dip? Mm -hmm. No. Soz. She's not sorry. <laughs> She's oh, like, whoa, that's deep. That's intense. Deep? As in like deep as in deep? like... Oh, okay. They don't know like British slang. They didn't know what beer meant. They thought beer meant like a literal beer. Well, when like you said bear hair, I thought you meant bear hair. Oh, the ranch is so good. <laughs> so I bought, we bought a load of vegetables and healthy food. In fact, we did so well. Mm. That was really good. Went from In-N-Out Burger mm. to this. Mm. I think I'm really happy with those though. Yeah, me too. Essentially, since I've come to America on Tuesday, I've just eaten a load of burgers and crap. So I got a veggie tray. I got a veggie tray too. Yeah. Oh wait, away. we should totally have organised that. And oh, we can do a, um, a haul. This is a food haul. I got some protein, which she says makes me a, what did you call it, a potato? <laughs> it's very Nick says I'm a potato, but um, basically, I just feel like I'm not getting enough protein. And then I got some milk to mix it with. What about, does that make you posh? Posh? Posh is it? Posh. Posh, like fancy. Do you know posh? Posh. Yeah. Posh. But why would protein make you posh? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. I've heard it thrown around. A few well, times. you don't know what posh is? No. Oh, what? Posh is like. Uh, like, like fancy? Uh, yeah. Yeah. But protein doesn't make you fancy. It makes you just stronger, I guess. If you go to the gym. Yeah, but fancy people, like, I guess it's like. I feel like you guys need to channel. This could be yeah. so good. This is like golden. White people understanding British slang. <laughs> But no, protein's not posh, it's just basically like normal protein, but like purified so it's easier to get in it. Like if I just mix it with milk and drink it, then I've got like my daily. You're not protein, is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I got some chobani. Got a banana for a dollar, which is ridiculous. And then, oh my gosh, no, overnight oats. That was my plan for tomorrow morning, to have some overnight oats and fruit. Basically healthy food because I genuinely think I'm going to be constipated if I don't eat. <laughs> If I don't eat more vegetables soon. And that is it. Chilling and going to bed. Las Vegas, night one. Bye. Bye. Peace out. Good morning, YouTube. Um, welcome to Las Vegas. You want to say good morning? Morning. Good morning. Um, we've actually just moved rooms. And Justin, like, basically asked for us to be moved rooms because we're staying here three nights. So we've got a really good view now um, because we were on, like, the fourth floor before and so that was pretty crap. Um, but yeah, I actually kind of feel like we're in Vegas now. I don't know why last night it just kind of felt like Tinseltown, like really fake, whereas in the daylight it actually looks like a real sea. There's a little fake Liberty over there. Um, and we were saying how cool it is that you can like see the mountains. So this is our new place. So in America, they don't have kettles. So when you get to a room, you know when you can like have a cup of tea or something, they don't have that. All they give you is like cups and ice so that you can drink water. Um, Justin is American and he heats his water on, on a stove. Like, is this a thing? I know a lot of you who watch this are American. Do you have kettles? Do you not just like flick the switch and boil water to make a cuppa? Let me know in the comments because I just, I can't deal with that. Um, and you can't like put stuff in the fridge. Like this hotel is really cool, but also like, kind of tight, like we don't have tea or coffee and we can't put like our food in the fridge or drinks in the fridge, which is kind of, kind of annoying. Um, 
However, it does have a gym and a pool. So I'm gonna go do a uh, workout, a quick sesh at the gym, just cause I feel really like, I don't know, when you're traveling and you're not eating food that you usually eat, I just feel really groggy and sludgy and stuff. So I decided first thing today, I'm gonna work out and then I'm gonna eat the other stuff that I showed you yesterday. So this is like a what I eat in a day as well as a travel vlog. Here's my outfit of the gym. Everything here is literally so beautiful. I can't deal. Like, just, I didn't film because I'm not sure if I'm allowed, but it's all so beautiful. Wow. This is my breakfast. I bought some milk and just added it to this thing. And there's no spoons, <laughs> so I'm using <laughs> the ice thing, because if I ask the hotel for a spoon, they'll probably charge us. <laughs> when in Vegas, live like a queen. <laughs> we are about to go shopping to get some something to wear tonight because to be honest I do probably have an outfit but I kind of want something cute it's Halloween I mean I'm not like a massive Halloweeny kind of person but um I feel like if there's anywhere to go out for Halloween while you're in America Vegas is the place so just want to get like a cute outfit to be like yo what up Saz here Sarah Sienna ready to party um doing my nails before I left one of the best decisions I've ever made. I can't believe I live my life with ugly nails. Like these, I just love them. I just feel like every time I do something with my hands, I feel okay about it because my nails look good. I feel so good after that workout and after actually eating healthy food. Like I felt really stodgy recently. And so to finally eat healthy food and exercise again and get like endorphins, I feel so good. And to be fair, I have been exercising, but um, I actually did like hit on the treadmill and stuff. I didn't film the whole workout for you because the gym was really small and squished and I felt a bit rude just like putting a camera in people's face. So I didn't film the whole workout, sorry. Um, but I basically did a lot of running on the treadmill, a lot some sprint hits then some dead dead mills and um, dead sprints whatever you want to call them and it was really good and then i ate healthy food and now i feel great the only thing that could make this moment right now better is if i had a coffee that would be good but everything here in the states is like super sweet um and coffee just never seems strong enough which is really frustrating but apart from that i'm loving life and it's a really nice hot day so we're just gonna go shop and get some stuff so yeah Hopefully we'll find something here. They were quite intense. Um, I couldn't film in there because she designed them herself. Um, didn't find anything. Keep looking. Can you see it? Yeah. We've come to Savers now and there is so much stuff here. Literally so much stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna be. Ah. Couldn't be bothered so much. I think I need a coffee. I basically got a cat costume. I had all these like crazy, crazy things that I wanted to be and it looks like I'm gonna be a cat. But I have no regrets because I literally cannot be bothered, whatever. So I got like a cat mask. Wear something that I already have that's black or I'll go to Forever 21 and get like something cute and be a very original cat for Halloween. Copyright, hashtag DR. Sassiana. I don't charge. So 
this is my outfit. Um, my cat outfit. I got this one suit, one suit, this jumpsuit from Forever 21. The best Forever 21 I've ever been to. It is literally, it was literally huge and I'm 100% going back tomorrow to get more things. I actually got some a new blouse for work. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness, it was so good. One thing that I think makes it a little bit less crap is that I got a mask, which I don't know where it is, so I'll go show you. But yeah, this is my outfit. I tried to do like a cut crease. Hang on, let me just look down. Can you see that? It looks kind of crap. So as long as I look up, it's okay. But yeah, I really tried. Okay, I didn't try that hard, but I kind of tried. Um, and this is, this is the result. I won't be taking the camera out tonight just because I feel like I love you guys and I want you to like see the night and stuff. But if I lost this camera, it's not even mine, it's my brother's. <laughs> I guess this is kind of the end of the vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Halloween in Vegas. Um, not a massive Halloween person, but I do love a good fancy dress. So we're just gonna go out, see the town, and see what it's like. I never actually thought I'd be that bothered about going to Vegas, but it's quite cool. Now that I'm here, I'm like, oh, this is really cool. Um, yeah, so we'll see how it goes. Thanks so much for watching. Hang on, let me just, it feels weird. Thanks so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and leave me a comment letting me know what you think. Let me know if you've ever been to Vegas and what you thought of it. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for traveling with me. And yeah, for all your love. I love you guys ridiculous amounts. <laughs> um, I will see you very soon. Bye. Meow.